Evangelist Franklin Graham wears many hats. He leads his father Billy Graham's Evangelistic Association, and he's the president of Samaritan's Purse, an international Christian relief organization. He's also active on social media and not afraid to speak his mind when it comes to his beliefs and politics. That's what I asked him about in this interview you'll see only on Fox. President Biden said, I think the, the first day in office, you know, give me a break. <laughs> uh, and I think we should. Uh, President Trump never got a break. Let's give them a break. And so we need to hope and pray that uh, he will be successful and that uh, God would help guide and direct him. It's been more than a month since President Joe Biden was sworn into office and already he signed 30 plus executive orders. Border security. What's by, is he going to let this just unravel? Are we going to go back to chaos on the border again like we had when President Trump came into office? Graham is concerned with what he's seeing in Washington, including the second impeachment trial that ended in an acquittal. President Trump must be convicted for the safety and security of our democracy and our people. You still believe that this impeachment trial will further divide us? Of course, yeah. Uh, and it will only help President Trump. It will strengthen his base uh, because it's so partisan. You cannot impeach a, a, a private citizen. Uh, the impeachment is to take someone who's holding office and to take them out of that office. Uh, the voters already took him out of that office. Mm -hmm. So you, you can't impeach him. Graham took heat for defending President Trump. Christian organization Faithful America launched a petition asking fellow Christians to force Graham to step down from his leadership roles, saying, quote, with blasphemous preachers like Graham blessing Trump's big lie and pretending Antifa was behind the attack, adding, Graham and the religious right must be held accountable for their deadly dishonesty. Does that bother you to see, you know, fellow Christians come out and say, how could you support someone like President Trump? Uh, it doesn't bother me one bit, um, and I supported Donald Trump, and I would do it again if, uh, if under the same circumstances. And I think it's important that I speak out on some issues, especially um, you don't, if you take same-sex marriage. That's a, a political issue, but it's a moral issue. And I'm, I, I try to speak truth into some of the things that people are reading in the newspaper, and, and people will criticize me. That's okay. I don't care, um, but I want people to think about what's at stake. And if we lose certain things, what's going to happen uh, to this nation that we have grown up and love? And Graham believed in Donald Trump throughout his presidency for many reasons, including his strong stance on an issue within the church. He was pro-life, more pro-life than any president in my lifetime, more than the Bushes, Reagan, um, any Democratic, Republican. Uh, the most pro-life and how refreshing to have him this time last year uh, speak before the March for Life. That's never happened before. And this is where people have a, mis have a hard thing under to understand. They, they judge President Trump on his personality. What's he going to do to better the lives of Americans? And he put Americans first and he put the world on notice. You know, I'm putting America first. And that was refreshing. We have never had a politician quite like that. As we enter a new year and new administration, Graham's approaching President Biden with respect and an open mind. He is the, the, the president and let's give him a, a, a chance and let's uh, don't put him down or try to throw um, you know, dirt balls at him. Let's just give him a chance. Franklin most recently spoke out on Twitter about the Biden administration's Equality Act, saying, quote, it's a smokescreen to force Americans to accept the LGBTQ agenda, and it creates a lot of inequality for people of faith. To see more of my interview with Graham, make sure you subscribe to our Fox Carolina News YouTube channel. Back to you.